Jacksonville. But this is going to be interesting to see. I, I will buy it and, we'll, buy it. <laughs> and we'll bring <laughs> some clips down. Because, uh, there you go. Nobody would believe. It was very low budget, Dave. But oh, uh, kind of, it'll be even more entertaining now. Indeed. What are we doing now? Are we doing the game? <clears throat> Oh, what game? Our, our, our poster pairs game? No, we have a few minutes. We have Ooh. material. All right. What now, are you... Well, this is our reunion weekend, Dave. It is. Are you going? I'm not going. Oh, Ed. I went to the 20-year. High school reunion. reunion, yes. Right. Colony Central, 1980. 1980? We'll mention it. Sometimes we smudge the ages, but... Yeah, <laughs> why bother now? We, we have to. Oh, we... It's pretty much all over now. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> I went to that one. It was a forty dollars, I think. Okay. Yeah, pushing it. A person. I brought the camera. I have to get the footage out because there are some interesting sights at that uh, reunion. Mm, I'm sure there were. But we, when you go to a reunion, this was before Facebook and everything. You want to talk to some of the people you went to school with, find out what's going on after twenty years. What they decided to do with this one was hire a DJ and blast oh. the hits of the day. The, the current day, not right. from the 70s. Right. If you have a re why not play some of the 70s songs? Sure. They were bla You couldn't talk to Sue Rissler or Diane Rissler, right. <laughs> who were there. <laughs> you couldn't talk to Carrie Kirby, who right. showed up. Uh, any of your friends you wanted to talk to, somebody came up, hey, I saw you on the show. I don't know who it was. <laughs> somebody I went to school with, apparently. Right. But it was so loud, you couldn't talk to anybody. So what I even mentioned... Uh, on the Facebook, mm -hmm. when they were, they were playing the reunion, I said, the, the, the DJ was so loud, let's tone that down. I said, I'll bring my serious radio, we'll put it on the 70s <laughs> channel, very cheap. And what do we do at our reunion this year, Dave? Who's headlining? The refrigerators. <laughs> the loudest band in the area with horns and trumpets, going to be blaring right in the, uh, where are they holding at this At the thing? Marriott Hotel, the Grand Ballroom at okay. Wolf Road. Now you won't be talking to anybody unless you leave the Grand Ballroom. <laughs> right. You have to go outside. But they have that. I mean, you know, it's sixty-five dollars per person. But look what you're getting. You can get your menu would include uh, freshly baked rolls and butter, <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. a Greek salad. <laughs> okay. And please select one of the following: Parmesan crusted swordfish. It's always bad menu items. Chicken Wellington, grilled vegetable lasagna, and of course dessert and coffee to follow. Why can't we have real lasagna? Why do we have to have grilled vegetables? Well, it's, it's, I think it's a healthy choice is what that is. Is that what that is? I think is? that's what it is. You want to be healthy. You don't want to be stuffing. Because chances are, you know, it's now uh, 30 years later. <laughs> we're not as svelte as we used to be. No. So you don't want to be taking in too many calories. So this is just a nice healthy choice. I think that was cheaper than the real lasagna. Well, maybe. I think this is a money-making venture. <laughs> But I do. I, 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 the good thing about this is a, there's been a block of rooms reserved uh -huh. uh, for those of us who <laughs> will be going and want to hook up, oh, hook yeah. up with some of those the young, beautiful women that we didn't have a chance to back then hmm. because we were just geeky nerds. Right. So now we got a room reserved for anyone that wants. <laughs> it oh, I mean, it's for people who have had too much to drink. <clears throat> they need rooms. So they're not driving home. That's why they have the rooms available. It's not, not because, you know, she's still cute. and It's not know, for your chance to hook up bullshit. with Lynn, Pam, and Sandy. <laughs> I won't say their last name since we're mentioning possibly mating with these. <laughs> possibly mating with them? <laughs> Um, somewhere, no. somewhere on my Facebook or the, the colony page, I'm going to have to mention my dissatisfaction with the, this reunion, Dave. <laughs> and I will be dropped from the other <laughs> members of the committee. You know, some people, they, they can't put a price on a reunion with their <laughs> friends who they haven't seen in years. <laughs> and they're willing to spend it. And I think in this economy, we should all be spending that money. Because we need to keep the economy rolling. Don't you think with Facebook now you can, you know, connect with people like John Roddy that you wanna, <laughs> you wanna connect with? But you can't see them face to face. I can see a picture of him <laughs> and his busty girlfriend right on Facebook. <laughs> it's not the same as sitting at a table, enjoying a meal with someone you haven't seen in years, and catching up on old friendship, and perhaps redeveloping that friendship. And, and starting it anew, and maybe another end of your life, to the end of your life, you oh. have new friends. Old friends that are new friends. Hmm. What's new is old, and old is new, whatever the saying is. Hmm. 
The refrigerator is ringing in your ear. Right. Well, here's what I think. Uh, that the Marriott, where is it? The Marriott? Marriott Hotel. That's that uh, courtyard thing, right? Mm -hmm. I say, when, when does ever this start? 7 o'clock. I think about 8.30, anyone who doesn't want to spend the $65 is free to mingle in the courtyard. <laughs> they can't block who's going in there, right? So you're going to crash? Uh, let's crash our reunion day uh, with, with our camera for, for show purposes. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm all, that sounds I'm like all. a plan, right? Yeah, I'm all for it. Let's, right? bring, let's crash. We'll bring, right. we'll bring the kit car. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, it's time for our post pairs game where people have written in via email and given us two numbers between one and six. We select your name out of the magic bowl and you give us the two numbers and if the numbers match, the poster's behind them, you win two free movie passes. It's a deal. That's even good for the 3D releases, right, producer? Yeah. Apparently, yeah. Shake that up a little, Ed. Shake it up. I hope everybody's got their uh, entries in there. And get a good go. one. I got well, it's <laughs> as good as them all. And this one is Jerry Lansing. Oh, no. <laughs> Three out of the last four, and he always picks the same numbers. Why? Because eventually they're gonna hit two and six. I believe Jerry Lansing emailed us and said that uh, he was uh, kind of disappointed that we weren't playing the game. <laughs> Wow. For those couple of weeks, and apparently he's going to be very happy. If he wins this time, because he already won a few weeks right. back. He could win again. Two and six, Ed. Two and six. He likes that, too, to start out he with. He does. Well, go with six first, then. Mix it up. <laughs> you want to mix it up? Mix it up. Go with six. Okay, this is different. We'll go with the second number first. Oh, Despicable Me. Despicable Me. Same posters as always. Let's match uh, Despicable Me up here, and he'll win, Dave. Again, yes. Oh. oh, he did win a couple weeks ago. He though. did, a few weeks back, yep. Yeah. Despicable me. Ugh. There we go. Well, keep writing in, Jerry. Keep writing in. Why because send in every week? I think, I bet you all of these are his name. <laughs> Maybe there's one other one. But there you go. We like giving away the passes because well, I don't pay for them. <laughs> All right, uh, the end of the show, Thanksgiving. We're yes. going to break into our reunion tomorrow, or uh, Friday, I think it is. We're going to shop. We're going to get our address. We haven't announced this in a while. Oh, this is our farewell show in Bethlehem. Oh. So you want to write down our email address and join our weekly email. And you could be like Jerry and win tickets, even though he didn't win it this time. But he has won them in the past. Want to thank any of buddy that was watching in Bethlehem uh, the past 20 years, maybe 10, 15. Uh, it's been on there a long time. Too long. We didn't hear from anybody out there, but uh, somebody. I think they're too uppity. Is that what it is? To watch uh, public access, and that's wrong. Wrong. Ed. It could be. I know. I used to be able to check on if the the shows were airing when Joey and Tina mm -hmm. were a couple, and that's been a long time. <laughs> so. <laughs> And so I haven't been able to check in a long time. But, uh, so you can still find us on YouTube, as anyone can. That's right. Anyone. Shows are all up there. Even for those of you in uh, Canada who speak French. I did do a trial show. I put one episode up on funnierdie.com. Oh, no. And we were deemed 50% funny, Dave. Were we? What episode was that? <laughs> I forget. It was a while back, but we're going to... Put some more up and see if we can get 100% funny. I'd like to be consulted before my image gets plastered <laughs> everywhere else. Okay. We will see you next time.